Annyeonghaseyo and welcome to the Busan Midnight Movie. I'm your host Donald. Tonight's feature is the mystery revenge thriller Fog Island, but first, the penultimate episode of Zoro's Black Whip. Last time, Vic and Barbara escaped a landslide by climbing out a window that seems wouldn't have helped them escape. The bandits steal all the horses from the surrounding areas, and Vic uses one of the bandits' horses to find their hideout. Vic is almost competent, but that's just a fake out and Barbara has to save him because, side note, Barbara is a badass. However, in the fight, Barbara gets pitchforked by one of the bandits. And now, while I explain tonight's plans to my guests, enjoy episode 11 of Zoro's Black Whip, Flaming Juggernaut. Welcome back! Tonight's feature is Fog Island. Ex-convict Leo Grainer invites those he believed wronged him to his island for a night of revelation and revenge. Hey, that's the same set we're on now! How interesting! I've also invited all my friends to this island operated by my friend Harvey to ask them questions about who's been putting these numbered shirts on my show. Seems sinister. And it seems one of my friends has already decided to take a little nap. While I try to find out what's been going on, why don't you enjoy tonight's feature, Fog Island. Tonight's feature is Fog Island, and I initially wasn't going to screen this movie. My first pick was The Ninth Guest, a film that I included clips from in the promo to this episode. It has a very similar plot. People are invited to an isolated space and, one by one, driven to suicide. Ultimately, I went with tonight's film, even though the print isn't as sharp, because it has more vim to it. Also, the district attorney from Miracle on 34th Street. I love that movie. I also love that my guests keep <clears throat> taking their leave, rather than admit to who's been messing with my show. Hopefully all mysteries will be solved in the second half of tonight's feature, Fog Island. That was Fog Island, and what a fun little creeper despite the performance of Commander Data. Hey Hollywood, just cast actors. Stop trying to do all your productions with computer stand-ins. Uh, let's take a look at our next feature. A science fiction film that asks the terrifying question, what if you made a movie where nothing happened? Careful, you don't want any surprises. See the terror of people walking in a field, the horror of idle chatter. What's he expecting, paratroops from Mars? The nightmare of clerical work. See what evil the bowling ball from outer space intends in The Nightcaller, next time on the Busan Midnight Movie. <laughs> I mean, that's very funny, Grant. All my friends are taking naps, and I'm still no closer to knowing what the deal is with these shirts. Five friends were here, then four, then three, then... Wait! It's a countdown! But a countdown to what? And by who? Everyone's here except... Oh no. Uh, Kumsanida, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, call for help. And as always, stay safe, stay inside, and stay spooky.